Howdy folks, how's it going? Okay, well, <laughs> uh, I'm in a BMW, yes, and you can tell by the thumbnail, it is not my E60, listen to this. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, folks, I've gone and done it again, and you know what, there is method, there is method to my madness, yeah, and that's because... Well, uh, hang on a second. Let me get out of here. Turning circle of BMWs is pretty amazing. Oh, listen to that sound. Have you ever bought a car just because you fell in love with its sound? I gotta tell you, I think that's what's happened here because. <laughs> Oh, mother of God, that sounds so good. <laughs> you know, when I went to see this car, the owner, Tony, shout out, what's up, buddy? Uh, <laughs> all he did was start the car for me, and I knew then and there I was going to buy this car, seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my proud honor to actually introduce you to the latest member of Weville Garage, my 2001 BMW E46 325i. Is it is it possible to actually fall in love with uh, with sound? I I believe so. I really do believe so, because the sound of this car, the way it picks up. Okay, it's not a whole hell of a lot of uh, BHB, 192, yeah. And uh, however, however, it's the 245 newton meters of torque from this glorious. 2.5 liter six cylinder BMW engine that has been voted one of the best engines, you know, right up there along with the 1JZ, 2JZ, 4AGE, one of the best engines that BMW or any car maker has ever made. This engine, and this is why I bought this car. Oh, it's delinquent. Now, you want to hear the best thing? Okay, not, not, not the best thing, but um, I'm going to miss it. The, the sale of the C99 Vira covered the cost of this car. So yes, folks, we have lived in a time where a Proton Vira was more expensive than a BMW E46 325i. I'm addicted to this torque and this sound. I, 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 I don't know. I, you know, forget about the 192 BHP. Forget about the 250 Newton meters of torque. This is my first E46. If you remember, I've had an E30, I've had an E36, and now I've got an E46. The same way in the 5 Series range, I had an E12, I had an E39, uh, and now I've got an E60. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I, I am going through the ranks of BMW 3 and 5 Series ownership. Really, if I wanted to count 7 Series, I can too. Because I've had an E23, I've had an E24, I've had an E32. So yeah, I could do that as well. But you know what? I think I'm going to just stick with 3 and 5. Eargasm. Honestly, eargasm. You guys know I love muscle cars, right? And I can't afford those big V8s because the Rotex would just kill me. This one, the Rotex is still livable. It's below 2,000 uh, ringgit. It was 874. I know that number perfectly now because I just went and paid for it. One year's road tax for this car is 874 ringgit, so still a little bit livable, below 1,000 ringgit. I, I cannot bring myself to pay more than 1,000 ringgit uh, a year for road tax, so still okay. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna show you this car. Uh, I gotta stop in a safe place because this car does attract a lot of attention. On the way, driving back, uh, after picking up this car, after buying it, I actually got tailgated twice. Uh, once from, of course, the, the king of the road, my V, and once from another BMW, a newer one, uh, tailgated and then just had to overtake me and show me that he's more powerful, which is fine, it's okay, it's okay, we're all same gang, it's, it's no problem. 
I love this car. It is so different from my E60. I love my E60 as well. But it's chalk and cheese. Honestly, I've used that term a lot and I'm sorry, but it's true. It's so different from my E60. The E60 is smooth and comfortable and, and uh, cosseting and luxurious. This thing is a beast. This thing is a real monster. And yes, before you ask, I found this car on Facebook Marketplace and I actually really like the ad. The ad made me chuckle, okay? Because uh, it started out by saying, this car is almost perfect, not perfect, but quite perfect. Perfect enough. <laughs> Something like that. It was brilliant. So I called up the guy and we met and when he started this car, I knew then and there, uh, she shall be mine. So let me just stop here and uh, show you the car from the outside. Right, so it's uh, the front of Giant and there's the car. There's the E46. Oh my goodness, folks. I, I don't know. I'm just, it's still got the original rims, by the way. And a little bit of uh, paint touch-ups needed here and there. But by and large, it's all in one piece, yes. 325i in buy and drive condition with a nice number plate too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for giving me the number plate. I like it. So, you want to see the interior? Okay, here we go. Leather interior with the wooden, with the wood paneling. That's the interior. Remember what I said about buying cars that have the best interior? Yeah, don't play the fool with the interior. It's a lot harder to uh, uh, redo the interior than it is to redo the uh, exterior. So maybe a little bit of shine and wax and you should be fine. The dashboard is nice and clean and crack free. The door still closed with a resounding thud. And I love these original wheels. You know what? I might keep them actually. I was looking at 16s. Uh, sorry, I was looking at 17s because these are 16s. I was looking at 17s and may, I was thinking about going out to 17s. But you know what? These 16s, they kind of they kind of match. Falcon DX tires. The previous owner really took good care of this car. I have already gone to Brokas to do the front and side tints because it had to be removed for Puspacom. I've got the car in my name and I've already got the, the new road tax. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And you want to see the reason? The reason why I bought this car? It's under there. And there's the reason. This beautiful, beautiful six-pot BMW. 325i 2.5 liter 6 port this engine <gasps> i think it's an m54 tell me if i'm right tell me if i'm wrong which you guys always do anyway i don't need to say that but this is the reason i bought this car this engine is just absolutely brilliant a wonderful wonderful engine oh you want to hear the sound want to hear the sound okay hang on And this lovely exhaust note. I'm getting new tips. Lovely. So here we go. That's the interior. With the wood paneling on there. Yeah, um, and cup holders, yes. I have cup holders. How wonderful. The uh, previous owner has upgraded this. It's got a uh, reverse camera, which, uh, yeah, it works. Yeah, you can see that. Pretty cool. And I know some of you are going to point it out. Why, why? The headlights are not working. Why that warning light? Why, why, why? Uh? Well, it's because the previous owner put in LEDs and the LED voltage is different from normal halogen bulbs. So that's why you get that warning. Uh, can't get rid of it, so I might just put back halogen bulbs because my OCD will not allow me to have those red lights. So happy as you can tell. So yes, folks. Oh, uh, this is for a dash cam, which I can't put on yet because the tinting is new. Oh, man. <laughs> Take care, you all. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. The next update will probably come from Beijing. Take care. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe, please. Helps. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely.